Oh, I'm live now. I'm back. I was waiting for it to finish, so I figured I'd start a brownie. But I realized after I started the brownie, that was not a good idea. You shouldn't try to eat a brownie while you're doing live streaming. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, some people are into that, but, you know, most of our flag community is not into that. But, you know, sometimes I just say things and they kind of mind. Tell me, Ross, what's been on your mind lately? Uh, yeah. All kinds of shit. Yeah, what do you mean? You okay, man? You doing all right? You upset? Ever, is something bothering you? Is there something? You need to sit on the couch yeah. and start talking and I'll listen. Let me mute that. I don't want to hear myself. God, I look freaking weird right now. This is my show? I've, I thought about, I'll be honest, I thought about giving you the hosting job and i want to start a new show hear me out we're going to call it ross talk featuring ross collins and you know what it's about it's about you talking you just say things for like an hour kind of like jim rome stephen a smith all that stuff i think it'd be a hit i i think i'd watch that but let's talk about stuff Let's first and foremost, I'm just saying, I heard Z-Man put a team in county. You remember Z-Man? Z-Man. Z-Man from Pure Chaos. Yeah. The eight-man champion from Frederick and D.C. He talked to me last year. He said to me he won a lot of championships at eight-man. And, you know, He's one of the few guys to beat Chris Boone more than five times. And if you beat Chris Boone in eight, man, you must be great, man. I'm just saying. I think Jamie and company, that's his name, by the way. Jamie, Z-Man. He's French. Z-Man. Z-Man. Ha ha. I think they're going to do well this year. What's their team called again? You're in the captain's chat. You gotta pull that up. What was your team called? Okay, he ain't watching. I don't think he watches my show. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I don't think he does. If anybody knows Z Man's Zoom account number, tell him to call in. Because, like, I heard he has a team name, but I don't know what the team name is. You know what it is? Someone told me. I don't remember anymore. It's been a while. Oh, well. I'm just saying. So, you know. I'm just saying. I've heard they have a good team. Um, I heard a lot of ballers are coming out. Uh, someone told me that they got this dude who's six foot four, 220. He runs a 4340. And he played college at uh, Sam Baldwin State. Down in uh, Wyoming. He was all American for a couple of years. So I think it's a pretty good signing. And you take a look at some of the talent around the country. You got to win. You got to think outside the box to win these days. Even if it means going to another state 2,000 miles away. Because when you sit there and think about it, this flag game has changed. It's no longer about, I'm going to pick up my buddy Jim from the bar who I went to high school with 10 years ago. You heard that, right? Hey, man, we got to bring this guy. He was good in high school, right? Is that, like, is that your favorite thing you hear recruiting? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, you built a whole team based on guys you went to high school with 10 years ago. Sure. I'm pretty sure I recruited some guys from the bar here. John Regan says UNR. Is that what their name is? UNR? Z-Man's team is called UNR. Unreliable. The Unreliables? <laughs> I, don't think I don't think that's a good omen. <laughs> Unreliables, Unremarkable? Is that what they're called? Uh, you know what? That sounds right. So, like, I picture in my head that song by EMF, Unbelievable. But, like, in their case, you're Unremarkable. Oh! You know what I mean? That song from the 90s? That's what I'm picturing. Someone needs to make a mix of that. <coughs> Unremarkable about Z Man making a highlight clip. 
He's unremarkable. Oh, but you know what, man? I'm looking forward to it because I feel like a lot of the teams in flag football right now, there's a lot of potential for what I call franchises. We talked about how main event is a franchise in flag football right now. We got John Regan in the comments. He's building up to misfits. That's a franchise. They're going to be in that five-man tournament this weekend that I really want to go to, but really can't go to. That may have other plans. You want to go do it. I know you. Dude, that schedule looks lit, bro. That's going to be a hell of a tournament. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm going to see where that is. I'm going to check the chat that I found it in that's in a group of people that I know. Yeah, I'm not going to schedule. I don't got it on here, but it's PST, Misfits, Hornets, EA, Toronto Shots. Toronto? We got a Canadian team in this? Sounds like. JFK's in it. John F. Kennedy is coming back from the grave <laughs> to play some five man. He's got Robert coming with him and Edward, too. Can't wait to see the Kennedys back out there. Valley Goats. New Jersey's three hours from Heggy. Man. I don't think I sneak out of a hotel room for three hours and then go all the way and do the tournament and then come back. I don't think she'd like that very much. Work Saturday morning. Do you work Saturday morning? Yeah, when's the last game wrap up? Uh, according to the schedule, 3 a.m. It starts at 3? The last game starts at 3. So it'll probably be 3.30. Mm-hmm. So you get there, game gets done about 4, 4.15. Four get back at about 7.15 and then boom, go to work. I mean, how many people are going to be there anyway at your job? Maybe like six. Four? Yeah. All of <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Night Feast is what it's called. Unfortunately, like I said, I'll be a little preoccupied all night. Not unfortunately, though. Anybody from around here in the Jefferson area looking for a shed, hit me up on Saturday, see if they sheds off of 340. Raw Scott's Raw Scott sheds for you. Hey, if you're not playing flag football this weekend in Jersey, go get a shed from the shed lot on 340 by Jefferson. Pretty much anybody in the tri-state area. Anybody. Well, not the tri-state. We're the four-state area. Four-state area. You got to remember, we got two Virginias around. That's right. And a PA and a Maryland. I do wish we could go to that, though. I, was go- I did contact ESA, and they said they had a media guy already, so – I made plans to do other things. <sighs> Maybe I could sneak out of the hotel and nah, she wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that at all. Um, anyways, anyhow, anywho, like I'm saying, man, the franchises right now with flag football is the new big deal to me. I don't think it's enough anymore to be a nine man team. I think you got to expand. You got to cross brand. You can't just be a nine-man team now. You got to play five. You got to play seven. You got to play eights. You got to play fours. You got to play six. You might have to put, to put in a semi-pro team eventually with the way all this is going. It's just getting wild, man. It's just getting crazy. Like, you take a look at it. How many of those eight teams compete in five-man along with nine-man? Right. And then you talk about what OMFFL is doing. <sighs> Bro. Bro, bro, I can't wait. This is going to be pretty legit, dude. Like, always some good football. Like I said, if anybody wants to jump on, say some shit. I'm just here saying shit. Ross is here. He's just agreeing with what I say. Then he's saying some shit, too. And trying to sell shit. Ross is trying to sell some shed. So if you want a shed, my even, man Ross Collins is you your man to hit up. You don't even have to come to Jefferson or anything like that. Just hit me up. Hit him up. He will bring the I shed to that. you. I can make it happen. He will tow the shed in his car. He'll bring it right to your house. <laughs> we got you, roof. delivery service. I'll put it on the roof. I guarantee it's better quality. Loads have to be towed. Hey, I tell you, man, I bought one of your sheds a while back because I didn't have a place to live in. So I figured I'd crash in one of the sheds. And I tell you, you can put a lot in those sheds, whether it be a bathroom, a living room, a kitchen, a basement. I turned that whole shed into a house. It was like home for me. And you know what? It was a very low cost on top of it. Utilities ain't that expensive. Like, if you want a shed, the shed lot at Jefferson is the way to go. My man, Rossington Collins, is who you want to hit up. 
got to, bro. Got to. Um, but like I said, it's all about the franchises, man. You got to expand. Like, you got to play YAFFL 8, man. You got to play VFFA. You got to go down and play OMFFL. You got to play Craig Mims 5, man. You got to go and play 8, man, triple threat. Yeah. What if nine man had triple threat? Dude, here, okay, so here's my problem with triple threat. What's your problem with triple threat? I coach kids, and I literally I've started from the bottom, so I'm talking. And now you're here. I, I I'm talking. Of, I coach what four, five, six year olds, and they wear popper class, man. <laughs> yeah, they legit wear popper. I this... got a whole bag of triple threat. I can't say anybody wants them. I got a whole bag of triple threat laying around here somewhere. If you want to buy tri- triple threat flags oh, and a man. shed, Ross Collins <laughs> is your man. Two for one deal. You got a shed. You, you know, got some flags. Some triple threat flags in the deal. Too. You think about it. That's a big advantage for some of these eight man teams traveling across the country. The shed gives them a place to stay at for tournaments. Then you get the free flags on top of it. That is a hell of a bargain. Cheat code, OTF, all you guys, if you're watching, Ross College is your man, the one-stop shop for sheds and triple threat flag football. All the flags you need. I got all the weed. I just flashed it. No one cares. FBI is looking at me now. CIA is pissed. Nobody's watching. I don't think the CIA cares. This dude, bro, they're. I don't think they care about weed. No, you know the FBI watches one talk, right? Like I'm on most wanted for real. Oh, what can I say? That ball breaker. What? <laughs> that ball breaker. That mall break in. That mall break in. Yeah, dude. Hey, man. Seven years in August since <laughs> the mall break in. If not for that, I want to be in flag football. I'd be at like a department manager at a grocery store and selling meat to people. Do you imagine how different my life would be if I still worked at a grocery store and ran a department there and sold meat to people? Like maybe we could cross promote. Think about it. This Saturday, you know, I'll be home. It's going to be great. We got something for you. If you want some meat, if you want a shed, it's a triple threat flags. Ross Collins and I, Team Blunt Talk, three for one package. You get some meat, you got your triple threats, and you got a shed. You can sit there, eat your meat in the shed. I said, eat your meat, by the way, and play some flag football afterwards. I tell you, dude, that's a bargain. How much is that going to be, Rosser? For what? The shed? The shed, the triple threats, and the meat. <laughs> And we got oh, it depends what kind of meat too. I mean, we got chicken, we got uh hamburger, we got all kinds of meat over here. Kenny Deaner's got some deer meat coming. Bro, we're gonna be all about it this spring. We got a lot of stuff like this is gonna be lit, it's gonna be legit. Like, you look ahead to what's going on this spring, it's gonna be awesome, man. Like, I'm really excited. We got new TB t shirts coming in. We got a special St. Patty's one coming in next month. I'm excited for it. Um, if you want to place an order for a TBT shirt, inbox me, Joey Blaze. We'll get you the cheapest fabric shirt we could possibly get. And for a low price of 10 bucks, you too could have a TBT shirt. I caught you leaving that comment there, Catherine. It was there a second ago. Now it's gone. It vanished. <sighs> She had a comment on there about talking about meat. And now it's gone. It's right there. Not on my page. Right like there. legit, come over here. It's not here. I don't see it. It's gone. It's You're lying to me. Why, why are you making up stuff? Here, look over here at Spider-Man, this shit. It ain't there. See, I see it now. It ain't on here anymore, though. That's some ghost shit, bro. That's creepy. Facebook, we playing some games, dude. I don't like that shit. Pisses me off every time, bro. Look, it's a, it's a big deal to me. I don't like being fucked with, man. I'm sorry. I got to calm down. I'm in my feels a little bit tonight. I'm sorry. Um, you, know, it's, you know, it's been a hard, long time. People didn't like me in Miami. They told me I suck ass. 
They're not wrong, but you know, it's true. I'm trash, bro. I'm bottom five. I'm just saying. But you know what? It's gonna be a good year ahead. Like you think about all the stuff we're doing. What all? Like you got the tournaments coming up. We got events coming up. I can't say what's happening. I want to, but nothing's official. Once it's official, though, we're gonna have some fun because it's time to have fun again. 2020 is over. You know, it's 2021 now. Let's get back on the grind. You know what I heard? I heard Ron Savage is out of retirement already. How long did that last? Remember when Ron gave his big emotional speech on here, talking about his career and all that? Now he's back looking for a team. What was it last two days? I don't even think it lasted a day. I don't think Ron ever retired. I think Ron was like, I want to retire, but he's like, you know what? I'm going to keep coming back. I want to know what happened to the Ron and Marley show. What happened to Henny Talk? Where's some Henny Talk at, Ron? I know you're watching. You've been commenting all night. Get on Zoom or something, bro. I want some Henny Talk. Yeah, Ro- that's henny, talk. henny Talk. Roll one up and give me a Henny. Which TBT shirt? I got four of them. Which one? You talking about this one? Or this one? Or these two? Or even my hoodie? I got a pink and green one in the car, too. Coming soon, Henny Talk. Is that the new county show, Henny Talk? Hey, who's going to take my place in county? Man, someone's got to take my place. Like, there's a lot of potential young, promising streamers out there, though. You look at Keith Childs. You look at Ron Savage. Cash Curry DeMar. Like... Washington County's got plenty of talent. Top left, you talking about this one? Yeah, this thing? Oh, dude, this thing's legit. We got a hood. You can't see it, but there's a hoodie and everything on it. It's pretty awesome. Um, That's a shout-out for Rob Lane, man. Rob Lane, I already told him six times thank you. Here's a seventh time. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. Shout-out, Blazers. Really appreciate you all for what you do. I just hope we get a chance to get back on the field very soon, man. We were supposed to do some four state fours, but that's not happening. Um, well, we're gonna try. We'll see what happens. I'm still working that out. It's been a long week. It's been a long winter. I'm ready for spring, man. I hope you all are ready for spring too. We got a lot of things going on. I'm stoked. I'm excited. KFFL's got eight teams. I'm hearing. Whew. Flag football, man. It's on. The, it's growing. It's just getting better. Like, we're about to hit the best of the best. We got some good stuff for you coming up. Ron's back with the bees. Oh, man. Y'all like, I ain't going to lie. Y'all trying to be uh, the Miami Heat or something from 10 years ago. All these superstars y'all signing. Moats. Spence. Macho Man Ron Savage. Like, who else you all got coming on the Killer Bees? Like, I can't even, man. Y'all about to be the bees knees of the KFFL. And, you know, I'm excited. We'll see what happens, man. We got to get some people on. We got to figure out what's happening. We got a lot going on still. But I'm stoked. Like I said, if you are looking for a good deal this weekend, head up Ross Collins. We got a three-for-one package deal, courtesy of Team Blunt Talk. For the price of whatever it costs, you can get a shed, triple threat flags, and meat. That's right. A shed, triple threat flags, and some meat. Your three-for-one stop for some food, a place to stay, and flags to play your favorite eight-man game. You can't say there's a better deal than this. And I got to admit, it's only going to get better from this point on. The 2021 flag football season, it's underway. It's going to be lit. It's going to be legit. And I'm looking forward to it. So until the next time, I'm Joey Blaze with Ross Collins, wherever the hell he went. And my favorite buddy, Miller, there he is.
I was just telling the audience, we're all three for one deal. Three for one deal. You get some meat, a shed, what the and triple is, threats. What is the, okay, so, so is, what the fuck is the meat? It's any meat you want. We got hamburger. We got chicken. We got deer meat. Kenny Diener got a bunch of it for us. He's bringing it by. No, I don't sell meat, by the way. Yeah, but it's part of the package deal with me. As the form, as the almost meat manager of Wegmans back in the day. Yeah, but I'm adding that on there. It's the Team Blunt Talk special, three for one package deal. You can't get anything better than this. We got meat, triple threat flags, and a shed. In that order. And I tell you, and you know, you know, we're gonna make it even better. I got a better deal coming up. We got us something great. We got a grill. If you're looking forward to cooking your meat, we got a big grill coming, a nice little George Foreman. It's going to be really tight. I got to say, Ross, it's going to be a really awesome time. There is no better way to tailgate this spring than grabbing your shed from the shed lot, getting some meat, put on your triple threats, grow that sucker up, get the beer, Get the weed, get it all. It's all you got, all you need. I'm Joey Blaze. Fuck your team. Good night.